Hey guys, James and Eddie Five Three Two here. Um, we have returned to the Northwestern Railway. While I love doing big city ports, the Northwestern Railway is probably my home. So, as you can see, we have three engines to talk about today. Usually I only do one, but today we're talking about three. But they're all the same engine, or are they? Well, first, let's get the peculiar one out of the way. The one you've all probably seen before, somewhere, if you follow me on my social media accounts. Let me get his tender coupled to him, because he's a very complicated one. Sorry about that. Here we go. Here we are. Um, Henry the Green Engine! About time! I know someone in the comments has been waiting for this. So... Henry the Green Engine is made out of a Gordon. I know, that's not how that works. But the Black Fives didn't have top feed, so I didn't want to use a Henry. And I didn't have a spare Henry. So, I... There we go, here's my pointer marker. Did not give him a top feed, he just has the single dome. And I used the Gordon because he already had the dome. And I hate making domes. Because I can never do it right. But, um, yeah. He used to be a B1, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, that's where he gets this higher arch from. This higher footplate from. The B1. Whatever this was before. I don't remember. It's been a while since I made Henry. But, yeah. And then, his footplate here is just pure cardboard. Per usual. With his little chest in the front here. Henry is a really bulky engine. Especially compared to even Gordon. He looks pretty big. See, Henry looks bigger than Gordon. Like, actually looks bigger. But I don't think he is. Like, because if I were to bring in a tool here, my leveling tool. They are about the same size. Even down to the boiler height. Oh, actually, Henry's a little bit bigger, but... Gordon, I'm not actually... I'm actually not very proud of Gordon. Because he just looks too wide, too small. His footplate is really long. But we're not here to talk about Gordon today. We are talking about Henry the Green Engine. So, yeah, he's a big engine, I would say. Um, he didn't have these little side rods before, so I gave it to him, and I made him slide bars, so whenever he moves, they move. I didn't add this top part here, because I'm not exactly sure if I should, because the Playrail engines did it, and they look good, but they don't have slide bars, so, you know... <laughs> But, anyway, Henry was just shaped. The front part, oh, the firebox here, was just cardboard. It was originally made to be removable. I'm not going to try and remove it out of fear of breaking it. But Henry was painted in shamrock tribal green. Shamrock green. Yeah. My usual dark green, or green, rather, with red details, with my basic red. Um, I gave Henry the most weathering out of the big engines. If you can't see it, that probably doesn't help. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there you go. There's the weathering. Um, I gave him the most of it, just because I think... Henry would be, would be the most weathered out of Gordon, Henry, and James. He also has the least Mod Podge to make him look like a dirtier engine. Of course, he's shiny and stuff, but to make him look just generally more dirty, I gave him less Mod Podge than I gave the others. But, yeah, this whistle thing here is just made out of a toothpick. Gave him a builder's plate. 
His tender is just the standard Henry tender. Back and front too. Black coupler. Gordon's is blue. I don't know why, but yeah. His face is just a circle of cardboard with a face drew on. Yeah, that's Henry the Green Engine. Now, I mentioned that his firebox was supposed to be removable. I had made two little pieces like this so I could sticky tack on it. So I could just do that over the normal boiler and just remove the old firebox. Similar to how the real Henry prop is, where the firebox was removable. But I ultimately didn't go through with that just because every time I did remove a firebox, the front of it got out of shape. So you might be wondering, well, what did you do about the old shape Henry then? I made this guy. Well, these guys. Technically. Um, well, we'll talk about the green one first. Um, this is the most you're going to see out of him. Just this angle here. Now, um, you can see the cab is a little bit short. That's just a mistake I made. <laughs> um, I know, I'm a dork. But, I'm okay with it because it goes down to the red line and... This Henry's supposed to kind of look ragtag, you could say. But, um, yeah. If I remove the shell, there's the motor. And just kind of basic, you know, curvy engine. With little slanted down part. This is a very sloppy custom. But I'm okay with, because I'm thinking Old Shape Henry was a very experimental sloppy engine. And I wrote GNR on the side instead of LNER. I don't know why I did that, but I think I, I like it. It gives some sort of background of where Henry was beforehand. Now, we're going to be done talking about that Henry. And we're going to flip it up to the blue side. Um, yes, I did not want to give him a two, two tenders. Originally, this tender was just the green side on this side, too. And it was supposed to couple up to that back when the firebox was removable. But, no. If the shell will go on, right? There we go. I made a blue Old Shape Henry, too. Which is just pieces of cardboard cut out open. So it fits right over the motor and stuff. It's just barely inside. And, yeah, just painted blue. Now, this side looks really weird. But the intention was you'd only ever seen the green shell on... The blue shell on this side and the green shell on the other side. Um, it was just painted blue. It was a mixture between Donald and Douglas's shade of blue and Gordon's shade. But it didn't last long, so I had to kind of work with it quickly. Um, if you've noticed, neither of these engines have domes, which I touched on previously, but I'm okay with it because if you think about the context of Gordon and Henry's relationship with each other, I don't think Gordon respected Henry, like, period, when he arrived. He saw Henry as a A1 ripoff, which... I'm pretty sure we all know Gordon would not like that at all. So, the idea was, okay, well, let's make him domeless, too. Another reason for Gordon to hate him. I know the domeless engine thing was probably just a city of churro, you know, jealousy thing with Gordon. But I'm thinking that might be, I, I thought, let's make that kind of, you know, a prejudice of his that he has along with tank engines, goods engines, and anything else that isn't an express engine. So, yeah, these Henrys are dumbless. But then I think after the Flying Kipper and Henry's rebuild and stuff, Gordon finally began to respect him. So, yeah, that's the kind of general idea with giving him dumbless. Also, I was kind of too lazy. Um... 
I just gave him black wheels instead of making this side blue and the other side green. Just so if I ever did figure out a way to flip the tender around and make it look properly, I would just, you know, have it black, then blue, I could do the exact same thing. And just so blue engine with green wheels with a blue tender doesn't look weird to me. Or it does look weird to me, rather. Well, since we're on the blue side, we'll just keep the blue shell on. So, yeah. They're supposed to share this space, but might make them more in the future. But, yeah, that's kind of Henry at the moment. Which I'm okay with. It's not totally terrible. But, you know, I prefer this Henry. He's probably one of my favorites of my recent Railway Series line. James is probably my favorite, like, number one. But Henry, I think, is a close third right after Edward. Because Edward took so many tries to get right. But, yeah. This has been Henry the Green Engine. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.